are on the Hall Road. I'm hauling in at uh, 15 miles an hour. I've got a 12 mile round trip. So if I uh, travel at 15 miles an hour, that's four minutes for every mile. So it takes me 24 minutes to get to the elevator, which is right over there. The tractor will do 20 and a half miles an hour. Uh, I do that on the way back. I found out that uh, 20 miles an hour is is uh, three miles or three minutes for every mile. So uh, I can reduce the 24 minutes by about six minutes, which is 12 minutes for a round trip. But you can see the mirror there. You watch that back wagon. Anything over 15 miles an hour, that back wagon starts to really whip around. Which is, it's hard to keep grain on a wagon when it's when it's whipping back and forth, taking up three quarters of the road. Uh, it trails a lot better when it's empty. And if you meet any traffic, you gotta slow down and get that back trailer uh, directly behind the front trailer, and then get it to the side of the road so you can get up, give up half half the road. Or if it's a piece of equipment, you gotta give up more than half the road. So uh, it's one of those deals where if you do the you do the math, sure you're sure you're taking you're uh, saving yourself a little bit of time going five miles an hour faster but you're also putting that much more stress on these low speed high flotation tires Especially, especially when you're running on sharp, sharp limestone gravel. So uh, the only the only numbers that I really look at is uh, uh, as long as I can keep one load delivered to the elevator per hour. Uh, that works out for me. So here I am talking to myself. Uh, make another video to post. It's kind of addicting, don't you know?